Incoming transmission. Greetings, everybody. Irish Trekkie back with another Star Trek Online collection review. We have issue number 10 featuring the IKS Moog. So we have some Klingon Empire shenanigans afoot. Uh, we're going to be checking out the model today along with the company magazine. And I shall be giving away the included Zen voucher if you want to pick up a ship from Star Trek Online. This collection is available from our friends over at Hero Collector in partnership with Star Trek Online. And big shout out to Hero Collector for sending this over. It gives me an opportunity to review for you fine folks. And that's all possible because of your amazing support over the years on YouTube here. So I am very thankful of that. And uh, yeah, let's jump straight into it, shall we? So we we'll start opening this. Do check out the description box below where you'll find details on this collection along with the playlists of the previous nine ships that we reviewed. I'm going to keep that box over here because it includes the code. We have our magazine. And uh, let's just start taking this one out for an initial first look. Nice and vibrant colors. Uh, I seem to be short a mount here. Uh, okay, so I am short that, so I shall not be displaying this in a mount. Um, that should be easily resolved by a, a call to customer service or a reach out. Um, yeah, it can happen sometimes, so we we'll put that down for one second. And we'll check out this base. One six seven one A slash A. So atypical, you're going to have an aft mount uh, for the Klingon ships, probably going across the wings or something like that. But unfortunately, I cannot show you, which is a shame. So we'll keep that there, and uh, we'll just have an initial reaction to the model, and then we'll go a little bit more in depth into it. So it looks pretty cool off the bat. So uh, yeah, let's get up close and personal with uh, this Klingon beastie, shall we? So here we have our mighty little battle cruiser, very, very detailed. And do you know, the green is coming across a little bit lighter. It's it's more kind of earthy um, than what I think you're maybe seeing on screen. But a uh, nice detailing in relation to the overall sculpt of it. You can see a lot of the paneling, but then a very nice and interesting paint application as well with the kind of dark grays, the battleship grays, the green, the red accents the yellow windows in here as well. Very, very aggressive nacelles, which are cool. You can see your inset nacelles in there. Very proud. I like this kind of command section here and how it's elevated. You can kind of see my finger come through the aft. Here we have the weapons. A lot of detailing here, isn't there? Aft impulse. Aft weapon array. And again, I'm not sure actually, are these again additional weapons or maybe auxiliary engine pods? I do not know. We shall maybe find out in the magazine. A lot of detail on the ventral side here. You can see huge amount of sculpt. But again, accented very well with the paint applications on this as well. That's very nice. And this huge weapons module on the front it takes up a huge amount. But I like how it kind of narrows down, tapers down to like a very kind of dagger shape. Which again, when you're looking at some of the Klingon weaponry, they do have some of those like split blades. That's really nice. So unfortunately, we can't see this on a stand today. But, you know, if you've seen any Klingon ships from Star Trek, it's going to be pretty much the same. So yeah, let's check out the magazine, shall we? So here we have our magazine, issue 10. 
So the IKS mug was active in the 25th century, affiliation Klingons, and uh, we have a roll of battle cruiser. So nice front graphic there. So our sections include introduction, starship profile, the orthos, designing the IKS mug and Star Trek lore, uh, Jampak Road to War and Star Trek in-game stats. So as I predicted, you have your kind of aft mount there, clasping along the aft wings and some close-up shots as well. So the IKS MOG integrates a variety of technologies from the Bortescu development project into a smaller space frame. So the Bortescu, if you haven't checked out this playlist yet, we've already reviewed, so do check that out. Big beast of a Klingon ship, beautiful. And yeah, you can see a lot of the aesthetics and some of the detailing does carry over there as well. So the terrible foes of the 25th century require a new Klingon battlecruiser. In the accepted wisdom of the interstellar naval doctrine, it is a maxim that no one builds a better battlecruiser than the Klingons. Indeed, Klingon starships have defined that role for centuries, and most ships of the line in the Klingon Defence Force are classified as battlecruisers. Surprise, surprise. Regardless of their tonnage. So we're going into some of the Klingon uh, background here for the development of the IKS Smog. Again, battlecruiser purpose built. 25th century. Pretty active in Star Trek uh, Online and uh, a lot of foes to battle. And uh, always good to get a ship in the thick of it. Um, so data, the IKS Moog's most impressive victory was during the Klingon raid on Starbase 24 in 2409 when it used its dynamic defense deployment system to disable a small squadron of Starfleet frigates single-handedly. So she's pretty big. 554.5 meters, crew 645 and commissioned 2409. So its most famous battle was only a year after it was commissioned. Um, a lot of the, yeah, the orthos are kind of very samey for the Klingon ships, which makes sense, you know, where you have your deflector rays, your impulse. Uh, DDDS, so that's the dynamic defense deployment system, launches at the front on the ventral side here, which is cool. And then we have some... Oh yeah, so the USS Avenger will be the kind of counterpart, which we're going to be, I believe, reviewing soon. So we have designing the Klingon ship here as well. So you can see, you can see a lot of the lineage of uh, Klingon design here with the long neck, the kind of proud bow, the wings, the color. And again, Star Trek Online are very good at the associated detail uh, on their ships as well which I do like. Very impressed with their Federation and their Klingon ships. And again, we have some lore going into Star Trek Online. And then the game stats here. We have Battlecruiser type, tier five, 3750. So you can kind of see that leap between a tier five and a tier six ship. Turn rate is nine, inertia rate is 50, but you get a 10, plus 10 to weapons and engine as a power bonus. Three device slots, five four, three aft, which is pretty predicted for a battlecruiser type ship. Uh, you have two tactical, one engineering, one uh, science, and uh, one universal. Uh, four uh, tactical consoles, four engineering, one science. Then we have that dynamic systems, and then there's no mastery or specialization because of tier five. And like I was thinking, Issue 11, we have the USS Avenger, so stay tuned for that. And we're going to go back into the land of Starfleet. Recently, we have checked out uh, the Jemadar um, Vanguard carrier. But we also had a glimpse of the Europa as well. So do check out those past videos. And uh, yeah, before we wrap up, there's a code to give away, right? So first come, first serve. I hope you enjoy. So captains can use this coupon below to receive 50% off any tier 6 ship listed in the Star Trek Online Zen Store. PC only. So go forth and have fun. And uh, compliments off here, Collector, and your good old local Irish Trekkie. So uh, yeah, let's do a little bit of a wrap up, shall we? So we got to learn a little bit about the IKS Moog Battlecruiser and how it was influenced and learned a lot from the Bortescu, which makes sense when you're looking at the design of it here as well. 
but um yeah one of the thousands of uh, battle cruiser type ships in the klingon naval fleet uh makes sense to me but pretty good magazine and uh, again a nice addition this will sit very well with the Bortuski that we have in the collection and any subsequent Klingon ships as well that we get. So that's pretty freaking awesome. I do like it. I dig it. Curious to know what you folks think at home. So let me know. So folks, thanks for taking the time out of your day to stop by and check out the video. Um, if you want to support the channel, um, check out the details down below where you can share and like. And uh, if you like the content and want to see more, uh, you can hit that subscribe button and check out the playlists in the description box below as well. Also, you can jump on board uh, Patreon and become a patron of the channel as well. Massive shout out to the Patreon supporters. You folks absolutely rock. Again, check out the details in the doobly-doo down below. If you want to pick up some merch to support the channel as well, you can do so by checking out the merch store. But you can also get some awesome Star Trek merch and uh, plenty of other franchises over there as well. So do check that out. And always good offers. So keep an eye on that one. And uh, yeah, if you want to find out more about this collection do support uh, our friends over at uh, Hero Collector Egomas. Again, all the details are in the description box below. You folks are awesome. And uh, as I said, thanks for taking the time out of your day to stop by and check out the video. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay sane, and uh, join me for the next Star Trek Online ship review. Have a great day. Bye-bye.